Hey, what's going on guys? Nick here with my review for The Defenders Season 1. So, obviously, the long wait is finally over for the Marvel Netflix team-up show that we've pretty much all been waiting for since the first season of Daredevil way back when that premiered. It's been a pretty long journey and it's been very interesting seeing how all of the characters' shows progressed as solo characters and seeing them all come together and culminate in this epic battle against the Hand for New York City. So, the show did start off off with sort of a recap and kind of picking up the pieces for each of the characters before they all came together and I really did enjoy this because we got to pick up on the threads that were left hanging from the end of their respective series and it gave us a sense of where they're at and then it kind of jumped right into this story. Another thing that I really liked about this show compared to the other ones is how the story was so compacted because it was only eight episodes rather than the usual 13 and I think it really worked out well for this show in particular because you had this sort of epic team up against the hand and it was a very singular kind of narrative like this is where the story is going this is where everything has been leading up to and building to now we can just go straight and dive right into the story and that really worked in the show's favor another thing that worked in its favor is how the characters actually interacted with each other because they didn't get off on the right foot from the get-go I enjoyed how they kind of had to have these hurdles and they really grew as characters throughout the show without giving away too many spoilers they're definitely different than the beginning to the end and that's something that's great because some people had complained about that in kind of the solo shows like for instance Iron Fist or Jessica Jones like not too much of a character progression actually occurred but in this show you can actually see how they're different when they first interact when this show ends with them and that you get this sort of big character arc for each of the defenders I really do enjoy that and I think that it's definitely setting up for future stories involving the characters overall another thing the defenders introduced was a brand new villain to the Marvel Universe which is Alexandra played by Sigourney Weaver and as far as I can tell this is an original character it might be slightly influenced or based upon pre-existing material but she was definitely a character that you get to learn about and you get to see her vulnerability her power plays in the show and definitely one of the best villains that they've had so far apart from Fisk I would say she had a goal and she went about it in the right ways and she really tried to hurt the defenders at their core and break them apart which she succeeded in on multiple occasions now now, of course, as you guys know, Elektra does come back for the show. She's resurrected from the dead by the hand and used as their sort of primary weapon or instrument to defeating the defenders. And she gets used pretty effectively here. Obviously, she has the biggest connection to Matt Murdock, Daredevil, and their story definitely progresses and comes to a head by the end of the series. As for the overall plot, like I said, it's a pretty straightforward stop the hand with the defenders all coming together along with Stick and all of their supporting cast from their respective series. And that's what I liked about it because it was such a simple plot that really brought together and made all the pieces of this Defenders puzzle fit very well. And it wasn't anything that was too overtly convoluted, there was a pretty straightforward goal and you got to see the heroes go through this journey together. As for the pacing and overall direction and style of the show, I think it was poorly paced in the first three or four episodes but as stuff picks up it really does pick up and it never lets go. Which is something that the other Marvel shows have had trouble with by the midway point of the season around episode 6 or 7, things kind of fall apart into the last couple of episodes, but here it has a rocky start, but it has a very good finish overall. By the end of the season, we definitely know where all of the characters are going for their respective season 2s or 3s or brand new shows, and we also get a hint at what's next with Marvel's upcoming series, The Punisher. Overall, my thoughts on the show, it was a very good ride, it was very enjoyable, and I really love seeing all these characters come together because it's been a couple years now of watching all these shows on their own and finally being able to see these characters interacting with each other, these worlds come together, and a plot and an epic scale of this fashion for a Netflix series with the Marvel characters is pretty awesome. Overall, I'm going to give Marvel's Defenders Season 1 a 7.5 out of 10. It wasn't perfect, but it was highly enjoyable and had great character moments, a great villain, and a plot that you could follow easily without getting too convoluted. If you guys got a chance to check out the Defenders, or if you finished the whole season like myself, drop your thoughts down below but keep the spoilers light because we want to respect those still watching the show as always thank you guys again for watching my name is nick and for more on marvel's the defenders and the marvel cinematic universe subscribe to hybrid network